Hey everyone, what's up? So this is my Microbot version 1, which is an ESP32 based robot, which is powered by a VMOS D32 Pro and controlled by Blink. You can check out its post for schematic code, PCV files and other details. So without any further ado, here's its test run. And that is pretty much the test run of this microbot. Now let's talk about this robot's basic structure and the assembly process. The assembly process include a lower base assembly, the PCB assembly and merging of the lower base with the assembled PCB board. As you can see this bot is combination of a 3D printed base and an assembled PCB. So for making this whole robot, I first prepared its lower base which include a 3D printed base structure, two motor mounts, micro motor wheels and two caster wheels. The motor mount hold the micro motor in its place and the caster wheel are added in both direction for front and rear support. This is how everything looks like after the assembly. After the assembly of lower part, I started the assembly of the motor driver PCB. I first added the AMS circuit on it and then three LEDs with soldering iron and then tested the voltage regulator by connecting a multimeter at its output and supply 12 volt to it. AMS1117 circuit includes two SMD capacitor of value 220 UF and 20 UF at input and output of the voltage regulator and an M7 diode for dropping out voltage a little bit. After getting the step down voltage, I added the through hole component like the motor driver IC, connectors and the microcontroller on the motor driver board. This setup is now ready to be merged with its lower part. For that, I use long M3 screws and nut with the mounting pillar in between to connect the top PCV with the assembled lower base. And this is the final form of this project. Not yet, but it's pretty much the final as we need to add wires to the motor in the right polarity and connect them with the wire connector of PCB. And with this step, everything is complete, almost complete, as we just need to set up Blink and control this bot with the Blink app. And for that, first we need to install the Blink library in Arduino IDE by typing the term Blink in the library manager search menu. After downloading the Blink app, I set up six button for controlling each motor driver input and two enable pins, like this. Blink send an auth code which links your setup with this app through Wi-Fi. This code 
is sent by Blink when you create any project in your logged email address. Copy that auth code and paste it into the ESP32 Wi-Fi sketch along with your network SSID and password. Select the right board and hit upload and that is pretty much it. Here's another test run. For now, this robot has a VMOS D32 Pro on top of it, but in future version, I will add an ESP32 module directly on the PCB and instead of using L293D, I'll be using much powerful L29A10 which can even run bigger 12 volt motors. Also this robot need an SSD1306 OLED in front part which will display a cute face on it and this will make this robot look more robotic and kawaii. Anyways that is the plan for version 2. Leave a comment if this video was fun or hit the subscribe button. Point out what I did wrong and I'll be back with another cool project.